in this problem a coaxial cylindrical conductors are given they are maintained at different potentials so we have to find the electric field intensity in the region between the two cylinders let us look into data so we have to find e at point p for the field of two coaxial conducting cylinders v is equal to 50 volts at rho equal to 2 and 20 volts at rho equal to 3 so the inner is rho equal to 2 the inner cylinder is of rho equal to 2 meters the outer one is rho equal to 3 meters So this is 2 meters, the outer one is 3 meters. <clears throat> Rho equal to 2 meters, V is 50. Here V is 50 volts and the outer one V is equal to 20 volts. These are the two boundary conditions given for this problem. We have to find electric field intensity E. So for that, we should know V. So to find V, I'm going to use Laplace equation. Because Laplace equation is very useful equation in finding potential field using the boundary conditions. And this system is in cylindrical coordinate system and the potential varies with respect to rho, the radius. Therefore, del square V expansion is 1 by rho d by d rho into rho with dv by d rho is equal to 0. I have considered the differentiation of potential with respect to rho only. V does not vary with respect to phi and z. So we have to find V here. Therefore, let us send this rho to the right side, rho into zero is zero. So we get this equation. Let us integrate both sides to remove this differentiation. So we get rho into dv by d rho is equal to integration of 0 is 0 plus constant of integration c1. So now dv by d rho is equal to c1 by rho. So go for one more integration to find v on the left side. On the right side, we get integration of 1 by rho is log rho plus c2. c1 and c2 are arbitrary constants. They are used as the constants of integration. Let us call this equation 1. Now we have to use the two boundary conditions 1 by 1 to find the c1 and c2. So one boundary condition is V is 50 when rho is equal to 2 volts. So to find c1 and c2, I'm going to use the first boundary condition that is V is equal to 50 volts when rho is equal to to meters. Therefore, the equation one becomes V 
Let us see what happens. V is equal to 50. Yes. C1 log of rho. Rho is 2 plus C2. So C2 can be expressed as 50 minus C1 log of 2. This equation is not yet complete because we need C1 to calculate C2. So we shall go for another boundary condition that is V is equal to 20 volts when rho is equal to 3 meters. Then the equation 1 becomes So what happens to equation one? So in place of V, 20 volts, C1 log rho is three plus C2. So we get this equation from the equation one, which is basically given by C1 log rho plus C2 the values are correspondingly used. So in the next step, what happens? 20 C1 log 3 plus C2. So let us use this equation for C2. Then it is 50 minus C1 log of 2. Now we get 20 minus 50 C1 log of 3 minus C1 log of 2. So here C1 can be taken out as common factor. What we left is log 3 minus log 2 can be written as log of 3 by 2. This side it is minus 30. So finally, C1 equal to minus 30 divided by log of 3 by 2. So this makes C1 equal to minus 74. So we got the C1. Now let us find C2, which was incomplete, the previous part. So C2 is equal to 50 minus C1 log 2. So therefore, C2 is equal to 50 minus C1 of log 2, that is 50 minus C1 is minus 74 of log 2. So after calculation, C2 becomes 101.28. Now, C1 and C2 are calculated using boundary conditions. Therefore, Equation one becomes so. What is the equation one? V is equal to C one into log rho plus C two. So now it becomes V is equal to C1 is minus 74 log rho. C2 is not 1.28. This is the potential field that is derived from the Laplace equation for the given cylindrical coordinate system. But actually, the question is to find E.
A is equal to minus del V. This is a cylindrical coordinate system. The potential is a function of rho only. Since I'm going to consider only rho, I'll go by this equation. Dou V by dou phi, dou V by dou Z are zero because V is not a function of phi and Z. So in place of V, we can find, we can use the results of previous step. Yes. So we have to differentiate the potential field with respect to rho. Then we get minus, minus and minus plus 74. Differentiation of log rho is one by rho. Differentiation of 101.28 is zero as it is a constant. We get this equation E, the electric field between the two cylinders. But in the problem, it is asked to find electric field at a specific point. It is 312, P of 312. It is required to find <clears throat> it is required to find E at P of three one two. But P is in rectangular coordinate system. So we need to convert this one to cylindrical coordinate system. So to find E, we need rho. We know that rho is equal to root of x square plus y square from the conversion formula. So therefore, here x is 3, y is 1. This is going to be root 10. Therefore, at P of 312, E is equal to 74 divided by root 10, A cap rho. That is equal to 23.4 A cap rho. This is the complete solution for E at given point. 